I've, I've gotten deeper into it through uh, mystics like uh, Joel Goldsmith or uh, Emmett Fox and Emmett Fox. And uh, have you read either one of them? No, I never have. Tom, he's into the kind of mystical stuff. Have you read any of those guys, Tom? No, nah, no, nah, not yet, but I'm, you know, interested. I'm, to I'm really, into. really, really, uh, I, I, wish, I feel honored that I'm turning two spiritual guys on to <laughs> two of the most spiritual books you'll ever read in your life. Uh, a, a brief history, Joel Goldsmith, for instance, he was the first guy that I got into. And it was very freaky how I did it. Uh, I was in New York going to the gym and all of a sudden, but I've been also, you know, dealing with prayer and, and, and questions, you know? And so uh, I've always asked the question when I was a kid uh, going to Sunday school, they, uh, the teacher would say, you know, God's everywhere. And so I remember walking home one night and, uh, and I was saying to myself, well, God's everywhere. Where are you? You must be here. God, where are you? And I really said it, you know. God, <laughs> come on, where are you? Show yourself, you know. And all of a sudden, I felt my chin being raised up to look at the sky, look at the, the, the night sky in Calgary. It was There was no uh, street lamps or, you know, uh, any kind of artificial lighting. And it was a clear winter day. And the, the stars were almost like you could almost touch them and you could see comets and you could see all the, uh, the, the Milky Way. You could see everything. And that, that kind of answered my question. You know, I didn't realize that was the answer, uh, you know, uh, until, until later when I got into Goldsmith. Well, Goldsmith, I was like well, going to the gym and all of a sudden, I felt something turn my body, literally. I, I, I was like lit, like I could feel it, not on my shoulders, but just on my body itself. All of a sudden I cross the street and I go into this store, a publishing house called Harper Collins. And then, you know, I knew the, the publisher because they, they published other books that I'd read. And then I, then I was really pushed over to this section of books and then something took my hand and literally took my hand and I reached and I pulled out the autobiography of Joel Goldsmith. And when I read that, and then I started reading his other books, Goldsmith was a, a spiritualist uh, from New York. He was born a Jew, but he was raised kind of like, uh, you know, like uh, an American, you know, believe in Santa Claus and, and that, and, but he was always on, always looking, and so he got into the Christian Science reading room. He became a reader, and and he got into uh, Mary uh, Baker Eddy, uh, pretty heavy, and then then he got a. Uh, this is in the twenties, by the way. And he was around for the First World War, and so he Joel <clears throat> got met, uh, news that his dad was dying, and, and, and that. He, you know, he should come to England to pick up the body. And someone at the Christian Science uh, Church told him, you know, your dad doesn't need to die. You know, you can heal him. And mm -hmm. Joel says, how do you do that? He says, just do it. <laughs> you know, uh, just pray, pray for him, basically. And so when he took, he, he got on the boat and he got to England and there his dad, full help waving at him say hi hey, you know uh and that was his first healing that joel did and then 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 he got more into the healing and then he became a healer but at first he 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 he, he lost money <laughs> he, he he you know he, it was i don't know what it was but he he couldn't make any money doing it he kept he kept getting worse and worse and worse and then he prayed or did something i don't know what he did but he turned it around and then he started doing uh, uh, oh people wanted to hear his lectures because he he would do these talks and the next thing you know uh these girls started recording him and and that became the joel s goldsmith books they're they're like because he would when he give a lecture he would channel the um, the spirit Mm. And the spirit, the spirit would tell him what to say, 
And then sometimes he would stop right in the middle of it. And he would say, oh, hold it. That's not the message that I have. And then he, and he would kind of have a conversation with the spirit and say, yeah, oh, okay. And then he'd go off on another subject. But if you read it, when you read his books, you, you'll see that he, he explains humanity, basically. He, he explains the, the whole thing. And then, then I got into, and then mentioned it, he, he mentioned uh, uh, Emmett Fox in his writings. And it was like, uh, and so I, I picked it up, just like you guys are doing. I said, Emmett Fox, okay. So I looked him up, got his books, and now my daughter was just here. Oh, I got a trick that I do with my, with my family. When I got cancer, um, uh, I started getting my daughters to come to visit me, and I say, "Would you would you read my books for me?" Because I, I wasn't up to reading, and so my daughter started up reading it, and then I saw the effect it had on her, mm-hmm. and it cha- it changed her life. Her reading for me, and then I got my other daughter doing it, and I I, I haven't got my my sons or, or the rest of the family because you can't make people do yeah, that. Be natural. Be. Hey guys, thanks for listening to A Place for Humans podcast. Again, this is Dakota Wint and please make sure to go over to Apple Podcasts, leave a positive review. Make sure to subscribe over on YouTube, Dakota of Earth and make sure to also follow us on Spotify. See you next episode. for humans.